Hey guys, it's another YouTube homework helper, and tonight we're going to be working with division. So come on and join us. All right, when we were doing multiplication, which is the opposite of division, we started out with grouping. So guess what? We're going to start out with grouping and division as well. First thing I want you to notice is that it says, what is the quotient? A quotient is going to be the answer to a uh, to an division problem. So we're going to be getting a smaller number. So I want you to notice that here I have five groups and I'm going to divide 30 into those five groups. So first, let's make our groups. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you were doing this, you would just make circles. All right, now I'm going to put one X inside each of these circles until I've gotten rid of all 30. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. 29 and 30. All right, now I'm going to look inside one of these circles because they're going to be equal groups and I can count six. That tells me that 30 divided by five is going to give me six and my answer is six. All right, it's time for you to try one. I want you to tell me what is the quotient of 40 and eight. I'll wait right here while you try it and then come on back. Okay, did you notice that you're looking for the quotient, which means you are trying to find the answer to a division problem, which means your number is going to be smaller than 40 and 8. You want to put them into eight groups. Did you do that? All right, I've got my eight groups, and I'm going to go ahead and put 40. Divide those up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. 39 and 40. So I got rid of all of those, put them in even groups. If I circle one of those groups, I see there's five there. And that tells me that 40 divided by eight equals five. All right, when we were learning multiplication, the next thing we did was work with arrays. So we're gonna do the very same thing as we're working with division. Now, notice that this time we're working with some um, we're working with some squares and we use X's. So this is how we're going to set this up. I'm going to say here is one row, two rows, and three rows because I want to find out what the quotient of 18 and 3 is. So I've got my rows set up and now I'm going to divide um, 18 into each of those rows. So watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, the cool thing about this is I can go into one of these rows and I count, I've got six. So what, I'm, so what that tells me is that 18 divided by three equals six. And the reason that works is because six times three equals 18, all right? It's time for you to try. I want you to tell me what the quotient is of 24 and 8. And you can just make X's um, in a nice line on your paper and then come on back and we'll check it together. Okay. This time I have my answers pop up for me. Notice that I made eight rows here, just like I've got eight here. I divided 
the 24 X's amongst those rows. And when I want to find out the answer, I just go and circle one of the rows. And I see that my answer is 3. So this tells me that 24 divided by 8 equals 3. The reason that works is because 8 times 3 is 24, or 24, um, or 3 times 8 is 24. And they go hand in hand. All right. The next thing that we did in multiplication is we used a number line. So we're also going to use a number line for division. Now, when we did multiplication on a number line, we started at zero and we moved out to the right because our number was getting bigger. But in division, we actually start at the biggest number, which is 12. We put our dot right here at 12, and we're going to make four jumps backwards till we get to zero. So watch. One, two, three, four. That is one jump. And we're going to number them just like we did with multiplication. One, two, three, four. There is my second jump. And one, two, three, four. That is my third jump. So here I have just discovered that 12 divided by 4 equals 3. All right. Now, time for you to try. All right, what's the quotient of 21 and 3? Go ahead and make a number line. Remember to start at you know where and go backwards. I'll wait for you. Okay, let's see how you did. Here's my number line. I'm going to start at 21. And I am going to count back by threes. So one, two, three. That puts me right here. That's one jump. One, two, three. Here is jump number two. One, two, three. Here's jump number three. One, two, three. Here is jump number four. One, two, three. Jump number five. One, two, three. Jump number six. One, two, three. Okay, got all the way back to zero. And I made seven jumps in order to do that. What that tells me is 21 divided by 3 equals 7. And it's because 7 times 3 is 21. All right. Fact families. I kept saying this means this because of this. It's because they're in the same fact family. So we're going to practice fact families right now. Notice that I have the numbers 7, 56, and 8. In a fact family, you have to have 56 divided by 7 is 8. And 56 divided by 8 is 7. It doesn't matter which order you put it in, but it is important that the first number be your largest number. All right, the next one is 7 times 8 is 56, and 8 times 6, excuse me, 8 times 7 is 56. And again, it doesn't matter which order it is, but the big number has to be at the back. Time for you to give this one a try. Go ahead and write a fact, fam fact family for this, and then come on back and we'll check it. Okay, did you get 32 divided by 8 is 4, 32 divided by 4 is 8, 8 times 4 is 32, and 4 times 8 is 32? I hope so. All right, here we go. Word problems. That's the other thing we did with multiplication. Then we're going to try it with division as well. Nathan's mom sent 33 cookies for the students in the class. There were a total of 11 students in the class. How many cookies did each student receive? All right, first thing I noticed is there was a total of 33 cookies. We want to share those with the 11 students right here. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's my 11 students. All right, and I need to divide those 33 cookies by those 11 students. One, I have to do a different color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. I passed out all the cookies. And if I take a look, at any one of the circles, I see that there are three cookies in there. And that is because 
33 oops, divided by 11 equals 3. And 3 times 11 equals 33. Your turn. 27 stamps needed to go into Scott's stamp booklet. If nine stamps could fit in each page, how many pages did he use? Hmm. Pause the video, try it, and come on back and we'll check it. Okay. First thing that I notice is there's a total of 27 stamps. All right, and I can see that there is nine stamps could fit on each page. So I'm going to have to do this one a little differently. I'm going to have to say here's a page, and I'm going to go ahead and put those nine stamps on there and see how many pages it's going to take me. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have not run out of stamps, so I'm going to go ahead and get another page. And I need to put nine here too. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I still have not run out of stamps, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in another page. Let's see, that was uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Guess what? I ran out of stamps, and I can see it took me three pages to run out of stamps. This tells me that 27 divided by 9 is going to equal 3, because 3 times 9 is 27. All right, you guys are amazing. We're learning how to divide, and it, it helps when we know our multiplication facts. Have a good night, and until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>